after fees and everything, I'm gonna profit around $100. <music> Hey guys, I'm heading to meet somebody to buy a putter. I was browsing on the Nextdoor app earlier today. If you guys don't know about that, it's kind of like Facebook, but just for like your immediate neighborhood, like within a five mile radius or something. And I saw this putter, the guy was asking $275 for it. Pretty familiar with Scotty Cameron's. They're pretty much like top of the line putters. A lot of the pros use them. The model he had, I looked it up and it was consistently selling around $300. There's a Newport 1 and a Newport 2, and his is a Newport 1. The Newport 2 is selling for like 400, and his is selling for 300. So I sent him an offer of 150 bucks. He came back with 200, and then we settled on 175. So I'm on my way to go pick it up now. And my daughter Darcy's with me. You wanna say hi? hi. All right, got the putter. When I get to the warehouse tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and list this thing, throw it on eBay. All right guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this putter up close and personal. The guy said that he sewed the um, head cover shut right here, I guess because it like kept coming loose or something. So that's one thing I'll have to make sure I point out. Condition is not excellent. I kind of knew that going into it though. Like there's a couple, you know, nicks up here and just a couple cosmetic things. Functionally though, it's it's fine. If it was in like mint condition, I think I could get upwards of like 350 for it. But like it is, I'm pretty comfortable posting it for 300 and I think it'll sell pretty quick. Alright guys, the putter sold. It only took three days. I am really excited to get $300 for this. After fees and everything, I'm going to profit around $100. Let's go ahead and get this thing packed up. This does already have a head cover on it, but I'm going to go ahead and put some bubble wrap around it anyways. Because I do not want this thing to get damaged. And since it sold for $300, I'm going to make sure that I pay for the extra insurance. When you print your labels through eBay, you can buy additional insurance. And for something like this, it'll probably cost me around five, six dollars, I think, to insure it. Put some paper in there. Most of the time when I ship golf clubs, I use these uh, mailing tubes, but they're not always super sturdy. So with a really valuable club like this, I happen to have an extra box that would fit it. And it's just thicker cardboard, and I think it's got a better chance of not getting damaged in transit. If you guys don't know about the Nextdoor app, I highly recommend checking it out to source for inventory. I've bought maybe like a dozen or so things on there, and I've done really well. There's not as much stuff on there as Facebook Marketplace, but there's also not as much competition. A lot of times when you come across something that's good, maybe not so many people have seen it, you know? I like sourcing on Facebook Marketplace, but it seems really tough to find good stuff before other people do. Usually when something good gets listed, it gets snatched up like right away. So check out the Nextdoor app. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I don't get paid to talk about it, uh, but I'll put a link down below in the description if you wanna check it out. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.